I went surfing yesterday and it was so beautiful that I had to show you. It's at a pretty tricky spot, so I'll mostly be eating it. I also forgot my leash, so every time I take a wave, I'll lose my board and have to go back to the beach to get it. Luckily, while I'm taking a pounding from the shore break, the views are not that bad. And I know you can't tell how big this is from the GoPro perspective. When I got to the bottom, I was like, mm, I'm not trying to die here, so I kicked out. And luckily, Brittany got the shore angle, so you can see it was actually a big wave. And there's me getting pounded with no board. On my way in, I got this nice little body surfing barrel, and then I grabbed rail trying to pull into this one, but it didn't really work out. The sun finally came over the hill. Now there's this spectacular glow behind all the waves. It was really such a special day, and I couldn't believe how juicy the water was. I'm going right again, and I tried to pull into this little mini one, and it looked so good, but it was too small for me to fit in. I got rejected by the lip. I tried for another one, and I got so close again, but I slid out of the bottom. My board shot out of the water like a breaching orca. Then I did a duck dive under this unridden bomb, and I took a glassy little left afterwards. Unfortunately, there was this body border coming right towards me, so I had to bail out before I got too close, but at least I got this clip of the sweet barrel right after. Then my cousin Hawk came through and got this really epic ride on his body board. Look at how clear it is underwater. The rights were really challenging to me, but I felt like if I kept trying, I'll be able to get one. But on this attempt, I ate it. This attempt also didn't go so well. And then I ate it again, and I was like, okay, maybe I need to go left. So then I went left, and of course, when I popped up, I pushed too hard on my back foot, and I ate it so hard, I practically did a backflip. Then this absolute monster wave came through, and I unfortunately waffled when I should have just gone for it, because I still got sucked over the falls anyways. Ripped my board out of my hands. And after the white water settles, I start looking around, and I actually see it. It's only a little bit further out than I am, so I start swimming as fast as I can, and then look up as this six-foot monster wave comes barreling through. I take one last glance at my board just barely out of reach before this huge wave sent me and the board all the way back to shore. I got back out and actually got this pretty nice left, but it was closing out so quickly I had to kick out right away. I tried to go left again and just got trampled instantly. I wanted to give it one more shot going right, and I finally got up on a wave where I was actually riding it. Unfortunately, the wave was pretty short-lived, but when it's this juicy, I never last that long. Okay, that's all the stuff we saw. Bye!